uh, okay, I'm back, guys. And yeah, we're going to be testing out the eyes on yeah, on a proper model. And this model was made by um, n- n- Sketch Nerd on Sketchfab. I'm going to. Why is this? <laughs> I'm not allowed to move out for some reason, but yeah. By um, Sketchnet on Sketchfab, you can check out his stuff. So I downloaded the model and I'm going to use the edge to test out the eyes. I'll link, um, I'll put his link in the description so that you can go to his page and check out his stuff. He's doing very amazing stuff. Thank you very much um, for the model, Sketchnet. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to be using this to test out the eyes now. What do we want to do? We want to pick the first one and then parent it to this one. Okay? And then I'm going to scale. Okay? Scale. Scale. Yeah. Roughly around here. Let me bring it outside for a okay? Then I'm going to take this and delete them. Let me bring it down. I'm going to move this in. Scale it down. Key so roughly like that, you want know, something like something, yeah, so like this. Let's just try to fit it in. It won't be perfect, but just to help you get an idea of how you go about doing this. And yeah, some of our settings are off. Move this off slightly, and then rotate it down. Yeah, so some of our settings are off. How to adjust it? Good, no problem. And yeah, let's begin. So what this let me increase the specularity a lot. Okay, I like I like that. Um, for this, I'm going to let's mirror. We contrary apply the set origin to geometry, and then where is the mirror? Why is the mirror not showing? Oh, separate into geometry. Contrary, apply or transform. You know this? Good. That works. Sorry, I didn't know what was wrong, but yeah. Um, apply or transforms, and then let's add the mirror to these two. Good. Ooh. Damn, looks good. No, 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 come on, guys. This looks really good. <laughs> so, this looks good. I'm happy. Um, and then we can just adjust this slightly. You know, so that the, um, they are smaller. Okay. And then this will just make it smaller. There we go. Yeah. Why is this country apply or transform? This is supposed to go to mirror. Where's the mirror? Oh, the mirror is gone. So apply. Good. Let's just use this one now because it's easier for me. Good. Okay, good. So, um, we have that and it looks good, but let's we need uh, we need this uh, redness to creep in from the side. So this is how you adjust it on your characters. So just you see, it's coming in, it's coming in, it's coming in. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so now if the character looks around, see, see some of that, that blood coming in. Yeah. Okay, now that it's up to scale, maybe we can add the subsurface. So, this is what I want to do. Let's see what it looks like. In cycles. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, maybe change this from one random walk to 
system body. Okay, this is showing now my system body. I, I think you get the idea. So, so you know, the geometry. Yeah, this is it. when he looks around. When she looks like around, uh, rather, you need to see the remnants. So that's fine. Um, what, what's left? What's left? Um, uh, let's just do like shaders. Mm. Yeah, everything seems fine. Now, if you look at this character, the eyes look dead. Why? It's because there's no highlights. Look at this. Princess Peach has this cool highlight in her, in her eyes. And then we can fake highlights. I created a node set up to fake highlights in Blender. And I'm going to show it to you. So, for now, uh, we are done putting the character in the head. And then, yeah, shortly we're going to create a new setup to fake highlights in Blender. I'll see you guys there. Bye. Okay, welcome back, guys. So, we're going to be faking highlights in Blender. Um, yeah, we're going to be using a new setup that I developed. <laughs> and I'm very proud of it. So, let's begin. What we want to create, let's create this kind of pitch highlights, okay? So, I'm going to go into um, solid view mode. I'm going to create a circle. I make it view. Stay there. Stay there. Bring it forward, scale it down, scale it down. Yep, there we go. There we go. And then we are going to give it that. Let's just give this on the fire modifier fire so we can see it in space. One other issue just for us to be able to see it in space. That's fine for now. So let me move this in. Now, I didn't want to explain why I did that. So, normally if you want to create airlines and blender, you have to move the, you have to move the lights, and then the lights will show the, well, maybe I should show it. So you see how ineffective it is. So the sunlight, I just move it here. Let's see. Let me hide this. So, Trying to I'm trying to see if I can get this. We have highlights. Let me use them. Why is the highlight not showing for them? Let me uh, let's change it to the alarm. Let's see the highlights. See, this is the problem. Trying to get the lights in the in the uh, uh, right space where it lights the character and it's also showing the highlights in the eyes. It's very problematic. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at these highlights. Look at it. Now it's not showing on the second eye. So if you want to show on the second eye, you have to move it like this, which is. Which which sucks. It it really does suck, <laughs> and it's very limiting. So instead of doing that, let's grab that. Bring that. Bring back our beautiful something. And then let's go back to this red light. And we're going to create a node group on this. Let's call this I light. Good. And then the node tree is made of three nodes. The first one. We want an emission node, and then secondly, we want a transparent node. Now we want it. We want to tell Blender, or we want to tell the eyes that. Okay, we want to tell Blender that. Okay, this light, let it emit light. Let it emit light, but only the eyes will receive it, and. To every other thing, it will be transparent, basically. That's what we want. So that's how this node group works. So now we have why we have an emission. Right now, let's put down three. It's going to emit, and then to other objects, it's going to be transparent. And what we need is a light path node. And then we want to give it a its transmission ray. Let's see. It works. Look at that. Straight up, it works. Okay, I'm just giving it 15. Look at that. 
look at that now but the problem with that is that it's quite limited you see it's still showing on the body but there's a way to even help you more you just go into the into this part visibility then we do uh, remove it from remove it from diffuse remove it from glossy I'm moving, no, I'm not moving from glossy I'm moving it from translation one scatter shadow and then from camera there we go that's it and look at this fake highlights <laughs> Very fake highlights, but they work. It works like a charm. Okay, let me try to get it right, like like printing process speech. Maybe I should scale mine slightly. Okay, we use this to five, we use this to maybe ten. Okay. Let me increase this to six. Let, let's see what the I'm not I'm not trying that at all, but let's let me change this to diffuse. Okay. To diffuse. And then let's see. Let's make this. Uh, I don't need that. <laughs> do not do that. It's the emission in that we need. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Move this away from the eyes slightly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then let's just duplicate it for the other eyes. For the other eye, right? And there we go. Look at that. The eyes look alive already. Look alive. This is really good. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, that's how you create the fake highlights. Now you can just tweak and tweak, but I think I'm fine. I'm getting very sleepy, even. <laughs> so, this is fine for me. Let me just move this. Yeah, this is fine for me. And then, I think in the next part, I want to quickly show you an overview of how to pick the textures. Because you probably want to. So, um, thank you. Uh, we are done. And then, yeah, see you in the next, next part. Peace.